Hello folks, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. It's L58, and now we're back to, uh, hometown, um, to clear Bo's name. So we need to take, uh, the Thief Patty to Trout. Yeah. And, yeah, last episode we, we ended up at, uh, well, God, what was it? Corsair? Uh, Sigma Fort? Yeah. Um, and picked her up there, and... I just whisked this away. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I could understand. She stole stuff from him. Okay. <clears throat> so Patty was just stealing stuff back from a guy that hires thieves to steal things for him. Well then, what does that... Mm, what does that make the guy that hired Bo... Well, I guess he was stealing something back. Oh, and by stealing an antidote, we've become a thief, too. Um, so yeah, he said, well, you know, I don't have any thieves. You can look around, and you won't find anything. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, as you can see, there's a room back there, but we can't go back there. Nothing there. Oh, well, we didn't find anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, well, we won't be able to find anything just yet, so. Okay, so at this point, moving forward, we can have Bo in the party. I'm gonna kill more. Kill Gore. Yeah, Bo is a free man again. Please bring Bo to me. It was my fault he was a suspect. I must apologize to him. Alright. Fancy hair. So, you could go all the way back to uh, Township, but you could also just go to the Dragon Statue over here and switch your characters out. Simple as that. And now a whole bunch of time has been saved. Bo, you're finally back and you're at a suck level. Yes! It's okay. Bo will uh, gain his levels back fairly quickly allowing uh, you to utilize him. Now, oh, it's kind of a toss-up between using Rand or Bo as your healer. Uh, Rand does uh, does exceed in the HP and defense, although Bo has some pretty uh, cool special weapons. One that will either attack twice, or uh, one that will attack all enemies uh, once. Not only that, but his uh, shaman... Um, setup is a lot cooler looking so uh, I, I prefer to use bow but uh, I mean yeah they're both they're both good so whatever one you you decide to use I don't think you're you'll really be let down so I think the only drawback of using bow is that he uses I believe the devil shaman which also cat would need for her transformation so if you want to use cat you're probably better off using Rand since his shaman setup doesn't look all that good, and you probably won't want to use that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Kilgore is, you know, treating us to some dinner that looks just like uh, the one Jean uh, prepared for us, and now is asking for him to asking for Bo to steal again. What we're gonna get in trouble, and then you know we'll be without him for even longer. Let's hope not. I think there's something suspicious about him. There's something very fishy about Trout. Oh, then you'll do it? Yes, I'll do it. Now, with this, Bo can either go by himself, or uh, you can have Ryu go with him. Definitely recommend Ryu go with him. Why not? Uh, you know, Bo's level 7. He's not really set up for this. There will be a boss battle. And why not just have somebody that can use that, that dragon spell and just mess people up? Just my opinion. You know, because I'm cool like that. Alright, let's catch that crook trout. And save our um, thief friend who might be related to us. Alright, so yay, we fight footmen, which look freaking awesome. I know it looks just like the uh, the guard that was guarding John's area. Get a little lazy there, Capcom. 
Yay, Bo moved up a level. It's a good uh, excuse to uh, level up Bo, since there's only the two of you. Now, where should we start? Well, why don't we go to that area that, uh, you know... Oh, yeah. Here, let me set him up a little bit better. Yeah, why don't we go to that area that uh, we couldn't get to, and it looked like there was something secretive there. Another footman. Yeah, you see with Ryu, makes everything easier. So it actually does a pretty good amount of damage for level 8, but still, it's nice to have... Uh... Oh god, and this is so annoying. Every time we get into a, a random encounter here, he must be hiding something. Like, duh, dude, I know what's up. Relax. Calm down there. We got this. Yeah, bow to level 9. See? Okay, level's like nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm hurrying, dude. Just sorry that Capcom's put in a million different uh, random encounters. Relax. Yay. I should have edited out some of these footman encounters, to be honest with you. They're pretty, uh, pretty easy. Pretty easy peasy. Yeah, okay. Gah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we just need to go down here, go up here, and here we go. On to the next one, on, on to the next one. Yeah, someone's coming. What? He can't see you like that? He doesn't have a top-down view like us? I guess it's not top-down, it's more like three-fourths or something. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm not going to get too technical. All right, yeah, let's check out the secret hiding area. Woo! Oh, look, there's all these people in prison. Darn, trout. Only reason, blah, blah, blah. Guy can't read as fast as I'm hitting the button. <laughs> not a thief. I just came to sell cakes. Okay. That man took the cakes from me and locked me in this cage. Well, we'll keep that in mind because we'll need to go there pretty soon. There's Patty chained up like a little slave. Alright, yeah, let's rescue her. But of course, here comes Trout. Hey, Trout, let me out! Let me out! Please, let me out! Oh, please, let me out of here! There's nothing more you can take from me! Oh, no! He's found us! Oh, what, what are we so afraid of? He's a fat little rich boy. He looks like that guy from uh, the Berries and Cream Starburst. You know, Berries and Cream, Berries and Cream, Berries and Cream, Berries and Cream. It's Patty! I guess you don't want to work for me either. Okay. I see. Well then, I have no need for you. I'll have to kill you. Well, good luck on that, buddy. Oh, he's a demon. Should have seen that one coming, huh? Okay, so... Trout's pretty easy to fight, especially if you have Ryu here. Of course, just have Ryu use his dragon form. Um, and if at all possible before, you know, like, uh, bringing Bo to talk to uh, Kilgore, um, go to a bank and deposit all the money that you have because Trout, when he attacks you, will, will steal from you, as you see, stole nine coins. Really, he doesn't steal that much because he doesn't do that much damage to you, but, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you could do that. Not like you're not going to earn cash by fighting those uh, guards. See? Easy. Go we'll move to level 11. Ryu 17. We got an extract. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Uh, uh, I just wanted to be richer than anyone. All the riches of the world were going to be mine. Oh. No more trout. Yay. And by killing trout, I guess we destroyed all the bars and either killed everyone in prison or they ran out. Talented in killing monsters. Oh well, yeah, of course. We're freaking awesome. I'll give this back to you. We got the magic hood. I'll say goodbye now. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. And with that, we go back to Kilgore. Boy, that was a shock. Trout was a monster about money. Well, yeah, we should have seen that coming. I killed Trout while protecting the thief girl. Wow, I wish you guys were there to see it. I saw it. I guess he lost his soul to the demon when he kept thinking about money, money, money. I better be careful. Yeah, why don't you just uh, spot us a couple million then? Here, I almost forgot. Here's the magic hood. What, what would we use it for? Just take it and give us a reward. 
You know, why don't you compensate us for, you know, all our hard work and all the grief you put us through? It's true that a lot of strange things have been happening lately. And yep, say Ryu, you, you've traveled the world and have seen many things, right? Do you think something bad is gonna happen? Well, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we faced, what, like, five demon people so far? Let's see. And yeah, here... Okay, so, yeah, we see the, the guy who ran the Coliseum became, you know, kind of a monster about war. The Joker became, you know, perverted monster. We had the imposter, Jean, who just became, I don't even know what type of monster he was. Ambitious monster? And then Trout became a monster about money. So, there is, there is definitely a demon monster surge. Bad feeling there are evil... I can tell from their appearance. Duh. Well, of course. So, what does it all mean? Uh-oh. It's that Metroid Eye thing again. It's gonna look at us. Oh, come on. The anticipation's killing me. Open your eye to me. Ah, it's so creepy. SNES got that thing down. Young man's day, the voice of a demon, like a bad dream. The destined child. Okay, whatever that means. Still, you know, the story's kind of weak so far. And, okay, so it looks like there's an earthquake or dimension change. Don't really know. And, uh... What's happening? Lightning? Birds flying? It might be winter, who knows? And the trees are glowing. Yes! Oh, but they're slowly deteriorating. That's a pretty cool effect for an SNES. Something, something evil has begun to stir. This little stir is about to change the world greatly. Once again, the story is pretty weak so far, but, you know, uh, that's what's going on. And, okay, so as we try to leave Sylvia from the, uh, I guess, Hunter Guild that uh, we started with when we were with Bo and Ryu as adults, wants to uh, talk to us about to something that's going on. So what could be happening with the quadruplets? Been a ranger a long time, but I've never seen such a big demon. You understand that we are not cowards, but there's no way that we could defeat a demon of that size. This is no longer a job. There are rangers who can handle. What's going on, pal? Some kind of trouble on the job? Oh, Bo, Rahu, some kind of trouble. This is the biggest problem ever to occur in Guild. We were just researching an incident. There's an incident at in Gate. Uh, the trees and the forest died. Do you like how my accents are just changing for no reason? Me too. Incident at Gate is just like we said. Elder, we no longer have the strength to continue this job. I regret to say, please take me off this case. As I said earlier, this is not a job for Rangers. Let's pull out now. Go, go, Power Rangers! What the heck happened? The Elder explained to the rest of you, and don't you guys even think about taking this job on? Well, of course we're going to take it on, because that's what we do. Elder, please explain. It's just as you heard it. The rangers that checked the incident at gate saw a frightening demon. The rangers realized it was a very dangerous job and they came back. Well, yeah, you fight a big demon. They are correct. This is not a problem that we rangers can solve. Well, of course it is. Probably from now on, all we can do is wait for a brave man who can save the world. Well, that's us, dude. Elder, if you had a ranger who would take on that job, what would you say? You're hired. I'll pray to the god of the dragon that you are not reckless rangers, that the demon is so big that even veteran rangers like John and Roy ran away. Well, they look the same, so they can't be that veteran. Demon, is that big guy with the hooked fingernails? That's right. I have been told that it has three eyes, and that the large body is covered in a hard shell. Oh, it's just an M&M. &M. 
shirts that demon that was thrown into the cavern when we were kids. What? Do you guys know something about this demon? You fools, why didn't you say something sooner? Uh, we were trying to. Yeah. Hmm. Your story of the demon is true, Bo? Yes, Elder. We were almost killed by that demon, and they are more than that. The demon? What? Oh. <laughs> I suck at this. Elder. About the demon. I think they're telling the truth. I just heard the wealthy man, Trout, he was the demon. He was the demon? Don't you mean he was a demon? You, and did you hear who defeated him? Yeah, Bo. Of course, give Bo all the credit. Not like Ryu didn't help. A silent protagonist. When did we become so great? When we leveled up, fool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're really cool, Bo. Oh, what a what an adorable little little poochie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now get out of here. <laughs> no one likes you. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, Bo and Ryu, looks like this job is for you. Please check out Gate. All right. Well, that's more like it, right, buddy? This job is perfect for us. Um. Okay. You've been sitting around for too long, buddy. Even if you did defeat the demon, you don't have enough experience. I think it'd be difficult for the two of you to work alone like John of Roy. Then I have an idea. We can get help from the grass man to find out why the trees and gate force died. Okay, well, okay, so the grass man, he is in that carnival. So we just need to find him. I want to make it clear, don't be a hero, guys. Do what you can as well as you can. Oh, hey there, Rand. Hey, hey. You're not forgetting about us, are you? Oh, a ranger's job is to kill demons? Then I can help, right? Heck yeah, alright. So let's go defeat a demon. That will take up the entire story. Woo! So, the grass man has moved it. Uh, the, 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 the carnival used to be at, right next to Windia but now has moved off this island. So now we need to figure out a way to do that. Um, in order to do that, we need to find a whale. <laughs> so basically transporting you here uh, from uh, Semi Fort. I, I switched out the party, added John, uh, so he could use his frog abilities here because you'll need him to. And okay. Let's see. Oh, hey there. Lots of water. Let's go south of Semi Fort, and we will get to this little area here, which one of the uh, kidnapped uh, prisoners was talking about wanting to sell whale cakes. So we'll be going to his establishment and see what's going on there. Oh, H crabs. Jeez, those Jean and Bo are ridiculously underpowered. That's fine though. I think there's a dragon statue um, at uh, at the the guy's place. So you can switch out Jean. You'll want to keep Cat though, because you'll need her for the next part. But, uh, and I'm gonna keep Bo for the most part throughout the game. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll switch him out, but he, I do prefer to use him. But yeah, we'll see. I might change my opinion about things. Let's see here. I don't want it nighttime, I want it daytime. Let's do the time warp again. Cool. So with that, let's go down here. Yeah, there is the dragon statue. So if you wanted to switch out Jean for somebody a little bit better, you can. Uh, Maybe like a Nina or Rand. Just not Steam. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we'll enjoy some sightseeing. You're welcome for rescuing you. And let's see, from from the little boy you can buy whale cakes, but I don't really see the point. I'd make sure that uh, you're, you're well set up for this next portion. 
because, well, it's not necessarily a hard dungeon, but you might find yourself kind of stuck here. So this is why we need Cat. She needs to destroy some stuff and and hit some other things. So, all right. So we go down into what looks like the mouth, and we meet my my Ru and two different dolphins. One I would assume is a boy, and the other I'd assume is a girl. Can you guess which one is which? You get two points if you can guess. All right. Squeak, squeak, hee hee. Be that as it may, do you know what this place is? No idea, buddy. This is the biggest tribe in the world. This is the inside of the mouth of a whale. A whale of a tail. The whale is amazing. It can carry people across the ocean, and of course, they understand human language, but lately, he just sleeps, and we can't even talk to him. Tried to wake him many times by kicking his Adam's apple, but... You see, Grandpa swallowed this big stone doll. That's right, that's right. He swallowed it. Tree and Ton. Ton tree? Tree Ton? Do you guys know something? By the way, Grandpa is the name of this whale. Well, that's original. So, our assumption is the stone doll caused Grandpa to go to sleep, and so now we need to go wake him up. Isn't it scary? The doll in the dream says, sleep, sleep. That's what Grandpa said, right? He did say that, didn't he? The stone doll? Hmm. Now that, now that you mention it, I think I saw it near the stomach. Of course it'd be near the stomach. Why can't it be near the mouth? <laughs> so, we're going to need to free Grandpa in order to use him to go down to the carnival to talk to the grass man. And uh, if you watch my original LPs of this, you're going to see how long it takes in order to actually find out what's going on in gate. <laughs> okay, so now the two little dolphin whale people are going to go take uh, the old man and leave us to rescue Grandpa. You know, four total strangers. Yeah, totally trusting. Well, folks, next episode, we'll hopefully be rescuing Grandpa. Until then, the Cell 58 saying, show me some support with that like button, and uh, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.